What will happen now? It's quite simple. We'll do whatever Celine wants to do. I wonder where Kareem is hiding. He must have left last night. How can he look Selene in the face after that? Selene, good morning, dear. Come, my princess, eat. There are hot buns here. You don't have to smile so reluctantly to try to console me. Selene, calm down. Mom, please, let's not talk. Phyllis, can you bring me my breakfast, please? Actually, Miss Celia is right. I would have taken offense as well. Celine, please don't start. I don't want to talk about it, but I can't hold myself anymore. Is it a crime that we happen to be wealthier than Miss Celia? But it's not nice that I bought her house as if she were a charity case. Celine, please stop. That's not a crime. You just wanted to do something nice for someone you care about. She took offense to my kindness. She feels humiliated. And she's right to feel that way. Kareem and I should have talked to her about it first. It's not right. I would have stopped you from doing it if I had known. So how did she find out that you bought the house? I don't know. But that's not the point. What is the point? It's still Kareem, Mother. What else can it be? Where is he? I don't know. He wasn't home when I woke up. Maybe he's gone to the office. I don't think so. Please excuse me. Would you like another one, sir? Yes. Here you are, sir. Please enjoy. We have to talk. Let's meet. You're right. We do have to talk. But what will I say to you? Thank you, Phyllis. Won't you be going into the office today? It's getting late. How can I go, Sharon? I'm too worried about Celine. Mother, aren't you going to work today? I don't have anything important today. I thought I'd spend some time with you. Shall we go somewhere for a change? Anywhere you like. You're doing this to distract me, aren't you? I'm fine, Mom. We'll go out some other time. I'm going out. Where are you going, dear? To talk to Kareem about this. Go to work, Mom. Don't worry about me. See you. I think you should leave her alone with this. Let her handle it on her own. I can't leave her alone, Sharon. I'll go with her. Don't be ridiculous. Sit down. I cannot let Kareem upset her anymore. My daughter is sick. She's sick. She's recovered, Natty. Recovered. Yes, she might get sick again someday, but she's healthy now. Let her decide for herself how to handle her husband. How can I stand by, Sharon? She's my little baby. I know. Look, you've been looking after her ever since she got sick. You were great, Natty. I was so proud of you as your sister. But please don't, don't be so overprotective. Let her handle it. Let her deal with her own feelings. And what if she gets hurt? She's already hurt, Natty. But she'll get more upset if you act like this. Please let her find happiness on her own. So, what'd you wish for? You mean we can tell our wishes? Sure, why wouldn't we? Okay, tell me yours. 
that one day I experienced true love. A love like in the fairy tales or in the movies. I hope your wishes come true. Me too. I thought about you all night, Celine. I've liked you since I met you. Just a minute. You forgot this. And this. I love you. I love you too. I want to die if you're not with me. I mean, I'll die anyway, but... Celine. You had promised me that you wouldn't say such things like that, remember? Please don't cry, my love. Please don't. I didn't mean to upset you. Separation is our fate, isn't it? But until we separate, let's make the most of every moment, okay? But I am happy. And I'll stay happy. I'm fine as long as I have you here in my life. I have to tell you something, Anna. I'm in love with Celine. Excuse me? I'm in love with her. Enjoy. Thank you. Let me know if you need anything else. Hello, my love. Celine, I'm sorry for what happened at dinner last night. Me too. I apologize for my mother's behavior as well. This is not about your mother, Kareem. You told me that we'd be very happy and we'd grow old together. You told me you loved me. And I believed every word that you told me. I believed that you were really in love with me. That's all true. Maybe it was my mistake. I wanted you to really love me. I made myself believe that you really loved me. One dreams of such stuff when one wants to be loved deeply. You can easily fool yourself. I'm telling you it was true, Celine. It was all true. It was all true that I loved you. But your mother said my son may have sold himself for money, but I at least have my pride. Listen. Your mother doesn't even believe that you love me. She thinks that you married for money. Is this the truth? Why else would your mother say such a horrible thing as that? Am I the only person who thinks that you actually loved me? Or does everyone know that you only married me for money? Celine, I beg you, please don't talk like this. Stop saying that. Tell me the truth for once, Kareem. Did you marry me for money? Tell me honestly. Did you do such a thing so you could secure your future? Will you listen to all of it? Okay, I'm listening. Yes, at first I did. So it's true then, for my money. I'm telling you, at first I did, in the beginning. Your money tempted me. I confess it to you. 
Who would not be tempted by such a good life, huh? But then I did fall in love with you, Celine. I loved you when I got to know you. You loved me later. It was a lie in the beginning. But I loved you. And I still do love you. How can I believe anything you say? Because that's the truth. If I had married you for your money, would I have signed that prenuptial agreement prepared by your mother and by your brother? I still don't believe you. How can I make you believe me then? I guess there's nothing you can do. I think it's best if we break up. Celine. Kareem, I really don't know what to think about you right now. I don't know how life will be without you either. But I can't see you anymore. Let's not see each other ever again. Mother? Hello, my love. I wondered how you were. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Celine? Mom, I'm fine. You don't need to worry. We met, we spoke, and we broke up. Uh, you two broke up? We did. Isn't that the right thing to do? Whatever you want is the right thing, dear. I support all of your decisions, honey. Thank you for that, Mom. Mom, I want to ask you something. What is it, love? Did you know about it? What? That he only married me for my money. 